Well, I emptied the kiln. It's looking very beautiful. Let's just have a look at these. I unloaded the trays in order. So this was the bottom. This was the first shelf, the second shelf, and the third shelf. Now, I did not cook these on top of there. I cooked these on like that. So I, I wanted to make sure that the glaze did not run down the edge and stick to anything. And it worked, I guess. Well, so there we have it. So how did these work out? Now this mint, I did stir it. I did it with uh, the whisk. And so that's why I have those bubbles. And here it appears that something burst out of the clay. And here again, it didn't go through. Where the bubbles are round are bubbles. Where they're not round, there's another reason. That's what I was told. Okay. Look at this one's pretty good. No air bubbles, but it has this problem down there. Film shelf on. Oh, has a spot here where it's going to fall off. Can't see that, so something must be in there. Doesn't make sense. Was this my fingers? Finger there and a finger there. This looks like fingerprints here. Maybe when I my fingers had oil on them. So when I dipped it, it looks like there's a bit here. And I dipped it the other direction. It's got a little imperfection. Well, they look beautiful other than that. There's another one of Mary's. Very nice ice cream balls. It's hard to see the flower, isn't it? They were so beautiful when she had just done them.
another problem there. Little chip there. And a hole here. Looks much better. Hmm. Whatever it was, it was hard enough to the bowl somewhat. And then the teapots. Ta -da! Now this one I glazed the other day but the lid broke. I wonder if I have a lid that would fit it. that's the same color. No, that's not the same color. Okay. They just came out of the kiln? They just came out of the kiln, yes. What do you think, Willem? It's impressive. Can I touch them? Yep. Hmm. That's pristine. I like this one. It's cute. Mm hmm. I am very impressed that I could make them at all. Mm -hmm. The lids are not fitting properly. They need to be, you know, have an inside part that goes down and a little bump that sticks to the side and catches. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe next batch. Mm hmm. Maybe next batch. I wondered what would happen if there was some on the bottom. It wasn't a problem, I guess. And here is a sausage. Two of them, aren't there? There are two, indeed. Crack, because it was too thick, I guess.
You see, this is definitely this color. So I use these things to put underneath them. That was good to have that there. I did a good job just because it was underneath. Smart move, Nancy. How about here? Ooh, another smart move. I wondered about that little bit there if it would run. And look at that, it did. It came out there. That was smart. Oh, let's just see if I hold it with both hands to pour. Not inside. Interesting, this is, these were never fired to comb six, those were just this fired before. Interesting, it dented where the pot was. didn't really bend very far. But the other one bent and it turned off. That's not even bent far enough either. Well, <coughs> so there it is, the glaze run. Yay!